We have six shells left, and uh, Jeff's going to shoot all six of them today okay. at 200 yards. All right, you ready to get going, Jeff? Yeah. It's your show now. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, this is my first time, but I'm excited about it. What a beautiful, beautiful gun. Beautiful. I'm River Bay, and welcome to my gun kingdom. Well, today I was uh, talking to my new friend out here at the range, uh, Jeff, and he's been on quite a few of my videos, haven't you, Jeff? Yes, I have. And, and, yeah. uh, it's just amazing that uh, we both share the same interest in hunting, uh, no matter if it's squirrel hunting, rabbit hunting, but we talked about deer hunting earlier today, and um, I'm trying to talk him into trying this 444 out, and I think that he'll be um, pleasantly surprised uh, this coming up deer season. I think I'm going to be able to talk him into going out with a 444, right, Jeff? Well, we'll see when we shoot it, but yeah. uh, I'm, I'm excited about shooting. I've heard a lot about him. A lot of people talk good things about him. So I'm anxious to uh, try it out. Well, Jeff, we got a lot of viewers out there that just love the 444. And as we all know, and all my viewers know, this, this gun can take out any North American game. You know, it has no problem. It shoots flat, you know, and it's, it's very fast too. And what it does uh, to a deer, um, it sends a shock wave throughout the whole body of the deer and it just paralyzes them right there. When I've always hunted with the 444, I never had to do any tracking. You know, wow. it was just amazing. And you know, when I've, when I've hunted with other people that have used a different caliber to hunt deer with, we've had to track them sometimes up to a quarter mile to find them. Wow. And you know, when I, when I take my deer uh, every season, my friends are so surprised, and I think you will be too, how you don't have to track them. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, we just have to worry about an eight inch circle that we have to hit in, you know, so that's the bullseye on a deer. But we're gonna shoot here today at 200 yards and everybody likes to see the 444 shot at 200 yards. Well, I'm anxious to shoot it. Yeah. Yeah. Anything that you would like to say before we start shooting, Jeff? I, th this is a just a beautiful weapon. I, I, when, you, when you set it up, I looked at it and said, wow, this is just, and you said it's 1977? 1977. 1977. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that something? Beautiful beautiful but you know these guns you take care of them and what I like about this gun is there's no cross bolt safety on it and nowadays you know Ruger's making these guns with cross bolt safeties and this has a JM stamp on it so this is made by Marlin so, great great but it's always been a great rifle for me deer hunting um, and I love it and and I rather fight than switch yeah <laughs> Well, I like the stopping power you describe because I, I, I hate to have to track a deer. Yeah. I always have. I, sure. I always worry, I, what if I don't find it? You know, I just... Yeah. And you don't want it to suffer. I don't want it to suffer. Right? Yeah, you know? right. Yep. So this is, a, this is the perfect gun for uh, deer hunting. And, uh, you know, I think we'll, uh, we'll set up here today at 200 yards. And we will position the camera so everybody can see that we're shooting at 200 yards too. But we got our target behind us. We got our spotting scope with us, and of course we got the GoPro too down there. So all right, all right. So let's say we get started. Right? Get started. Let's go. All right. Yep. All right. All right. So Jeff, um, we're going to be shooting the Hordendy Lever Revolution ammo here today with the 444. Now this is the 265 grain FTX, and this is what I always use and recommend for hunting and my rifle is actually zeroed in with this ammo so and so we're dead on with this scope at 100 yards jeff so all you have to do is aim about six eight inches you know compensate for that drop for 200 right. yards the 444 has a maximum range of 250 yards but our reference point changes when we go out to 250 yards so an ethical shot would be 200 or less yes all right so what we have here are the polymer tips that Hordendy has come up with 
and th since they have the polymer tips, they're safe to load in a, in a lever gun. We're going to test the trigger pull on this. Um, with my first shot, it seemed very light, so there's nothing in the chamber, verified. Two point five. Let's do that. Got to load one in. I think we're ready. Top of the target. That's the first three. You got to be really happy with the results, right? I'm thrilled. First time shooting the 444. And first time. First time, and show the show everybody how you did here. Yep. So there's two. There's three shots right inside this whatever is three, three inches, three inch circle, and then inside the what is this? Is this that would be eight inches? Eight inches. Yeah. yeah. They're all inside the eight inch circle. Yeah. See. Wow. What a flat shooting. What what, what a great gun. Yeah. Isn't that flat shooting? Yeah. That's great, isn't it? Super. Yeah. Well, like you said, my first time, you know? Right. Can't be my last, though. And you got one in the bullseye at 200 yards. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> that's that's really yeah. good job. I'm, I'm happy. So, yeah, you, you got them all within that 8-inch diameter. So that's that's actually, this is the actual bullseye. The, the kill spot for the deer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, all right. That'll be the one to hunt with this year. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'll do a little shopping. Okay. Great. Hey, I appreciate everybody watching, and make sure you hit that subscribe button, the like button, share it with your friends, and leave us a comment. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>